Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Happy Easter. Um, today's video is kind of out there because I'm doing one on Linda K. Henning, who was the voice of Jeth Reen, also a star on Petticoat Junction and Paul Henning's daughter. Uh, I just thought this would be different since I'm kind of running out of stuff. <laughs> There's so much stuff you can do for the Beverly Hillbillies. Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, so let's take a look at, see a little bit about her. What do you think? Uh, Linda Kay's first appearance on TV was as Penelope, a minor role in a comedy series, Mr. Ed, and appearing as a teenage dancer in the film Bye Bye Birdie. Despite only being cast in small roles at the time, actress B. Benedorette suggested Paul Henning, Linda Kay's father and producer of Petticoat Junction, to include her as one of the three main girls on the show. However, her father suspected he would be accused of nepotism if his daughter was cast in the show, so he didn't participate in the casting. After Linda obtained a role as one of the Bradley sisters, he even asked her to change her middle name to Kay so people wouldn't know they were related. Known as Linda Kay Henning, her character Betty Jo became the role she mostly, she's mostly known for, but currently she was in other productions such as Green Acres and the Beverly Hillbillies. She also made her debut as a singer in the TV series Toast of the Town in 64. Other famous series uh, she acted in were Family Affair, Mork and Mindy, and Happy Days. Also appearing as Miss, uh, Mrs. Osborne in the movie Mad About You. Linda Kay met actor Michael Miner on the set of Petticoat Junction, in which he acted as Steve Elliott. As Betty and Steve characters fell in love on the set, the actors also fell in love in real life. Coming in great gauge in the 67 to be wed on September 9th that year, the exact date their characters in the series were going to be wedded. However, in spring that year, the couple surprisingly called off their engagement. Later that year, Minor would reveal the breakup's reason as the couple's fight, uh, fight caused by his insecurities about their careers. Though Mike assured he never stopped loving Linda Kay during the time they were separated. After their TV marriage, the couple reconciled and cleared their differences, marrying for real life. In 68, Minor, who was previously married to Monin Ray Martini, what a name, until 66, played roles in various series such as My Three Sons and All My Children. He was also a singer whose debut album was This Is Mike Minor from 66. He released multiple other singles. In this time in Petticoat Junction, he performed several songs with the cast of the series and sung the theme song of The Smiths Family. Uh, she married, uh, her second marriage was to Ashby Adams in 94. Though the pair's love story is unknown, Adams is also an actor known for his role in The Doctors, Santa Barbara, and The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. Linda Kay's father, Paul Henning, was a successful director and writer of several TV shows, including the creator of Petticoat Junction, getting the idea of the show from a childhood story his wife told him. My wife has been telling me about her early days in Missouri where her grandparents had a hotel beside the railroad tracks. Traveling salesmen would come because the rates were very reasonable, and there was home cooking. He also worked as the director of the, as the old Penza show, the Bob Cummings show, and Green Acres. He's also credited for being the screenwriter of Where's Raymond and the RCA Victor show. He, along with Linda's mother, Ruth, founded in Missouri the Ruth and Paul Henning Conservation Area. Uh, her net worth is estimated at $1 million as a result of her long career as an actress. Uh, Linda K. Henning is regarded as a beautiful red-headed woman of white intensity. Uh, She's five foot three. Uh, one, I'm not giving you her weight because that ain't cool. Uh, she's always been slender. Here's some interesting facts about her. Besides her love for dance and acting, she also showed a strong interest in science when she was young. Mike Miner's first time in Petticoat Junction was actually in 64, playing a minor character. During that unique experience, he developed a crush on Linda Kay, though the redhead never noticed him, as they never acted together in a scene. He, however, was still married at the time to his first wife. In her marriage to Mike Miner, Linda wore the same dress she wore during the fictional marriage on TV. 
She's a member of the California Artist Radio Theater. Uh, she shares her birth date with her father. Just thought a few things. Thought it was interesting. I uh, just uh, something different. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget about classic uh, rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there and please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great, great Easter Sunday. Uh, he's risen. God bless you. I'll be praying for you.